steak and potato guy. Uh, I like smoking meat, grilling meat, roasting meat, anything that has to do with, uh, with cooking uh, beef, lamb, uh, pork, chicken, uh, anything like that is what I love to do. Um, so I kind of put that together and made it into a sandwich. I tried to take your typical dinners and create a sandwich with it. So right now we're at Cobb's Bread Semi Amu. Uh, we're picking up our custom made Cubano breads and for our Philly bread too. We use the same bread for both. Through my travels, I just found that uh, we are lacking the, the variety of sandwiches in our area. So I figured, well, why not create my own? From the first year we opened, we ended up winning uh, all the awards locally here, uh, being the best sandwich shop in town. Uh, we've won it every year since uh, then, uh, including through the pandemic. Welcome to Calgary. Come on in. our feature for today. Here we go. Meatball sub. This is a Turbo Chef. It is not a microwave. It's a uh, turbo oven. We're trying to give the food that is not available next door. Um, you, can't, uh, you can't just go get our sandwiches and find two or three other places that sell the same thing. They may call it the same thing, but we know that we are not uh, selling the same product. We make all our sauces from scratch. We make all our deli meats. Um, it's not a ball of turkey or a ball of ham or a ball of roast beef. No salt, no fillers, no preservatives. We take your your typical roast beef that you would buy at a restaurant or a market. You, we, we would take a roast chicken, pull the chicken, uh, slice the roast beef. Uh, we take turkey breast that is, we bag and uh, vacuum seal and then we bake it so that it keeps its shape. But it's 100% uh, turkey meat, uh, turkey breast, uh, no, salt or anything, we, we season it after the fact. Who's having the Cubano and who's having the lamb? You know, these are sandwiches that, I, that I've eaten through my experience in life when I was younger. The Philly, uh, actually the best Philly I had wasn't from Philadelphia, was it's from when I went to San Francisco. Uh, and I had it and it was amazing. And that's what the, it always stuck in my head. And eventually when I opened this place up, that was one of the things they put up there. When you do not sear porchetta, it tastes like porchetta. When you sear it, it takes on a bit of a bacon flavor. As you can see, this is very similar to bacon. That is pork belly. And this is your pork loin. So we wrap the pork loin in the belly, which gives you a porchetta. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we are gonna sear this on the one side only uh, to give it that more of a bacon flavor to it. The hog heaven is our own creation, so I know pretty much you can't get it anywhere else. Oh, so you should try it. <laughs> hog heaven meaning three types of bacon, right? You got your ham, you got your porchetta, and then you have your 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 standard North American bacon. 
Did you come up with that? Yes. How? What's the story behind it? I just like bacon. <laughs> and I took three of the most popular uh, pork dishes there is, which is porchetta. Actually, uh, the, the way we do it is more lechon. Lechon is more of a Filipino thing. But people don't know what lechon is. They, they know more of a porchetta. In the Philippines, we have what's called lechon belly, which is pretty much what this is. Is it hog heaven for here or to go? Start a box for me. A sandwich is practically three items. You have the sauce, you have the meat, you have the bread. So those have to all be good in order for you have to have a good sandwich. I don't have any secret what specialty spice that I use or anything like that. No, I just use the, the best meat, the best uh, bread, and create, uh, you know, the best sauces, right? Do you get upset when people alter your original recipe, like no tomatoes, no this, no that? Well, I don't think upset is the word, but we would prefer that uh, they have it the way it was meant to be created, right? Because everything, when putting this together and when creating it, um, you know, I try to make sure that everything complements with each other. So the end result uh, should be a better sandwich. But at the end of the day, people like what they like and they eat what they eat, right? We can't force them to eat to, to like tomatoes. But perfect example, um, I'm, not a, uh, I'm not a big fan. Uh, of pickles and mustard but when I eat it with a Cubano I love it I don't know why but I would not have mustard or pickles on my burger but on a Cubano it's perfect for me like, I've, I've been cooking since I was 10 11 years old believe it or not and not because I wanted to it's because I didn't want to do dishes so if you don't do dishes then you have to do something and cooking was it People say sandwiches are very simple food. To be honest with you, all food, all good food is very simple food. Sushi, you get a piece of fish, a ball of rice, you put it on top. Simple food, right? But you try to make sushi at home, you can practically could kill yourself. <laughs> so everything's simple. Uh, the simpler the food, the harder it is to make and to make it consistently because the, the margin for error is quite a bit bigger, right? With sandwiches, it's the same thing. You know, you have your meat, your your sauce, and your bread. You have to be using the best ingredients if you want the best result. 